Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. Currently, I am in Sevierville, Tennessee, uh, right along the parkway here. And I thought today we would take a look at uh, both Sevierville and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Kind of see what is new in, uh, in this tourist town. See if there's anything new, anything old, anything closed down, and just uh, kind of take in the general ambiance of the town. So please, follow me. Here outside the Firework Superstore, we have some very interesting gorillas. You can see their eyeballs are uh, light bulbs. And uh, yeah, they, they look like they're covered in about 8,000 layers of paint. And uh, yeah, when you drive by here at night, you can see their creepy glowing eyes. It's a very unique grouping of uh, gorillas here. Stopped off here at Action Antiques. You can see they have some pretty cool signs there on the side of the barn. And amongst all these rocks and minerals, we have a genuine Pegasus. Also spot a unicorn up there on top of that shack. And I think that is a Sinclair Brontosaurus. And this stump person here looks to be barfing up some plants. We have a mighty zebra over here, but uh, watch out behind you, Mr. Zebra. There appears to be a velociraptor uh, bursting out of that little, uh, little house. This is a slightly terrifying uh, monkey pirate. Um, looks like he is offering us some of his, some of his booty. have a gem mine over here where tourists can pan through sand and try to find precious jewels. You see there is a, a lonely one-armed prospector right there panning for gold. And uh, got some pirates over here. And I noticed this, there's a crocodile with a clock in his mouth, much like that notorious crocodile from Peter Pan. And I think that's Ponce de Leon. Looks like over here they're actually selling a portable jail cell. Here we stop off here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the largest knife store in the world. Uh, there's something in here I wanted to check on. You can see they have quite a bit of taxidermy in here. A giant elephant head. And look at that, we got a grizzly bear with a giant knife. It's an arctic display here, complete with polar bear. As you walk to the store, there's just all these exhibits on knives. Now this is what I wanted to check on. These uh, animatronic animals here, the raccoon and the bear. They used to sing, but last time I was here, they uh, were broke down. I don't know if they work or not. There is a button right here. Yep, appears they are still broken. Oh wait, never mind, here they go. Hi there everyone, come on over. Me and old Bubba here are going to play a two by turkey. <laughs> and you don't make me, folks. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. God. Howdy, folks. A great big welcome to our beautiful Smoky Mountain. 
and to our beautiful Smoky Mountain National Store. That Smoky Mountain Knife Works, we call Oh, well, oh yeah. But hey, the folks know that, right? Yup, the biggest. And folks, you're going to find something for everybody here today. So happy that they got these animatronics working again. So many random things here at Knife Works. They have this salt rock display, but you slide behind it, there is a Indiana Jones tableau. See Indiana Jones from behind. It looks like there's like a tomb with a uh, knight in armor. There's a Civil War knife collection right here. And check out that uh, wax figure there. Some Native Americans there, but watch out for that gator. There is a convict there in the electric chair. For some reason there's some canned possum right behind his head. And they do have a classic prison shank exhibit. You can see all the wonderful things that uh, prisoners use to smash and stab and cut each other with. It's an interesting way to uh, hang a taxidermy boar. Even have like a fantasy knife section. You see the throne there from Game of Thrones. They actually sell different swords from uh, Game of Thrones. Use sword for pictures on the throne only. Please do not swing sword. Oh, I guess you can uh, use this for photo ops. Who would have thought that a knife store would have an anime section? These are swords from different anime properties. If you recognize any of these swords, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know where they are from. I believe this is the world's largest knife. I'm gonna cross the way there and um, this looks like a half a bridge hanging off a cliff there. I don't know if that's for bungee jumping or something, but uh, very odd. Stopped over here at the Rowdy Bear Adventure Park. They have this, what they call the laser coaster. It's kind of a hanging zipline roller coaster where you shoot targets with a, with a gun. Yeah, it's pretty insane, but I wanted to check on something else. Um, this track here, I guess it's not open yet, but uh, they're building or have built the, uh, I guess it's the world's first coaster cart where it's a go-kart and a roller coaster track combined. Um, does not look like it's operating. Um, but definitely want to try it out when uh, when it finally does open. So I did ask about the coaster cart, and they said that um, the track's been built uh, for some time. I guess it was already supposed to be open, but of course, the pandemic affects everything, and they're waiting to receive um, the completed carts from uh, Germany. Of course, you know, there's a lot of, you know, between countries, a lot of stuff is still closed down or at least moving very slow due to COVID. So I guess as soon as they get the, the final carts uh, from Germany, it will be open. I've seen some sources on the internet reporting that the tomb has been permanently closed. Um, not been able to independently verify this. I know it's closed right now, but I do not know if it's closed permanently. Uh, it does look like everything is still set up on the inside, but uh, not sure if they're closed or not. If they are closed, that would be a shame. This is a really cool, this is like a very old school escape room, like an escape room before escape rooms were a thing. And over here at Paula Dean's Lumberjack Feud, they have this insane 
zip line roller coaster. It's called the Flying Ox. I believe this little Caesars is brand new, but look at this. They have an old school little Caesars mascot out front. I saw some of these statues while traveling through Michigan on the Dixie Highway, but yeah, cool to see them bring back the old uh, statue. You can see that he's devouring that piece of pizza as uh, Colonel Sanders looks on unapprovingly. Now Pigeon Forge, Tennessee has a surprisingly large amount of beach shops for a uh, for a location without a beach. This one's a little bit more appropriate. A lot of these big bright arcades dotting the strip here. See an ice cream shaped building that most likely dispenses some form of ice cream. Fantasy Golf here, one of the classic miniature golf courses along the parkway here. Pitch and Forge love this giant sea serpent they have out front. And hiding under the arched back of this wicked sea serpent. Baby Jesus! And you can see that seductive mermaid sitting there on the side of that waterfall. Kids Country right here was my daughter Annabelle's uh, favorite place to go here in Pigeon Forge when she was a kid. It's a little pumpkin house right there. Kid peeking out. You can see Humpty Dumpty there. He's having a swinging good time. Looks like the park's closed for the winter. Looks like they are doing some maintenance. We stop off here at the island and uh, just see how uh, things are doing. They're blasting some music while the fountain dances and the Ferris wheel turns. Oh, look at that a little train going by the Island Express traveling in front of the sweet store. Check out, see what kind of flavors of beef jerky they're currently selling. There's lots of uh, animal heads. On the wall, presumably their bodies have been made into jerky. Get this sample pack with all sorts of weird beef jerky, pork and venison, pheasant, buffalo, I think. This is adding insult to injury when you shoot a deer and then make him hold the gun that you shot him with. There's a bear there wearing a Hawaiian lei. Some boat motors on the wall, but look at this. It's a genuine woolly booger or ass squatch. Looks like they've got a cardboard cutout figure for just about anyone here. You have Joe Biden, MLK, Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, and that ridiculous Bernie Sanders meme. The store is called For the Health of It. Um, they have feet on the sign. I don't know if it's some sort of feet-based health store, but uh, look, at, look at these happy dancing puppets. Look at those guys. They're so happy. And the Parrot Mountain attraction actually has a satellite shop over here at the island. Parrot Mountain at the island. Hey, Birdie. What you doing there? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Birdie. Oh, he's making scary faces. See all the happy little parrots in here. I think this store here just sells socks. Look at some of the socks they have in the window here. A big bird sock. Oh look, it's a queen sock. It's got Freddie Mercury on it. I think that is a Donald Trump sock with a little, little scruff of hair on it. It's a jewelry store here called the Sneaky Squirrel. That is a very sneaky looking squirrel there on the sign. Love this store here, Puzzled. All they sell is puzzles, for real. Look at this, this snowman here is challenging you to a puzzle contest. Well, this is a bummer. This is the former location of Pinor's Palm Frites. It was a restaurant that sold only french fries, 
and bratwurst and they had a ton of dipping sauce and uh, I loved it and now it's gone. Outside of Mellow Mushroom here they have this almost terrifying giant mushroom man. Look at his uh, giant feet. Look at that. Love that big old big old bear right there. See kids crawling around in this giant obstacle course here. And they have a big old arcade. Now is it just me or uh, has society's obsession with Bob Ross reached an unhealthy level? Under the Ferris wheel here we have this little shooting gallery. Unfortunately it does not appear to be working. I tried swiping my credit card and it will not take it. But uh, yeah, check out this scene here. Oh, look at that. He just, he just started moving. I didn't even shoot him. That like gave me the that gave me the chills. <laughs> Anyways, got the country bear looking guy. We got uh, a car that looks vaguely like Mater from from Cars. Got a moonshine still. And for some reason, we have a jug of Taliban oil. What a paradox. The Yeehaw Snack Shack. That looks um, at least mildly uh, nauseating. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's fun. I don't, I don't know if, I, I doubt the, the enjoyment uh, being uh, experienced here. Now this is the newest attraction they're building here. I believe there's gonna be some sort of moving theater. It says Travel the USA in the blink of an eye. You can see the Smoky Mountain Wheel just continually rotating over the island. Hey there, kitty. Someone leave you a big old pile of cat food? Is that delicious? Looks like someone just threw a single slice of cheese onto the stop sign. Oh, I don't know why that's so funny. So as the sun sets over the tourist paradise of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, I really, really wanted to come back and check out these freaky gorillas. <laughs> look, look at that. That is the thing of nightmares right there. The glowing demonic eyes of a pink gorilla. Look at, they're all, they're all glowing. Okay, the white one here, he's only got one eye glowing, which is equally as creepy. And just, yeah, look at the paint on these, this gorilla. <laughs> has, he been, has he been painted like eight million times? I don't know, I think they just keep, keep slathering them in paint. And uh, let's check out the blue guy here. That is, oh, that is monstrous. <laughs> so apparently there's a fourth gorilla inside the store here. So as I bask in the glow of this gorilla's eyeballs, I wanted to thank you all for joining me here today in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, as well as Sevierville, Tennessee. It's, it, it, there's always so much going on in Pigeon Forge. New attractions popping up, old attractions vanishing, that it's good to, to just kind of take it in every once in a while and see what Pigeon Forge has to offer. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. I have lots of videos from Pigeon Forge. Uh, check my back catalog of videos. Tons of videos filmed in the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area, as well as all 48 continental United States, different roadside attractions, museums, amusement parks, and haunted houses. Uh, just feel free, go back through my, my, my back catalog. There's lots of fun stuff to see. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date on the new videos as they come out. If you're looking for other ways to support the channel, $3 or more a month on Patreon. We'll get you a postcard monthly. Also selling all sorts of cool stuff in the Etsy shop these days. But until next time, this one's in the bag.